Hey everybody, it's Marcus here with Good e Reader, and uh, today we're going to document the process on how you fix the font scaling issue with Kobo e-readers. Now you can see we have a book that we've just copied to our Kobo e-reader, and you can pretty well notice right now that the text is very small. Uh, if you look at it, it's very tiny, and if you compare that to the books that the Kobo e-reader comes with, m many versions of the Kobo e-reader are sent with about 100 free e-books uh, from Mark Twain to Franz Kafka and so on. Now, the big issue is when you copy EPUB books that you've downloaded from other stores or that you've downloaded from, say, our good e-reader uh, bookstore, you copy the e-book to your Kobo and then say you want to try to increase the font scale, you would press display and as you can see it's on the largest font but the basically the font size is too difficult to read and we want to fix this so we're going to document the process today on how to fix this it's pretty simple it doesn't require any technical special know-how and you can see here that this is the Kobo Black Edition uh, many people just have the Kobo White Edition but we managed to get our hands on one of the harder to find black editions. See itself, it's a very sexy e-reader. Uh, a few buttons here, it's not touch screen. Now, we're just gonna show you what to do now. So, we're gonna look at our PC here. And what you wanna do is go to our forum. You can see the address there in the search bar goodereader.com slash forum and to download the attachment you will have to register a new account it's very simple takes about a few minutes once you register you can uh, scroll down our forum until you see the Kobo e-reader forum what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna click on there and there's a post at the top that's stickied. So it says the Kobo EPUB Fixer for font size problems. We give you a step by step tutorial on uh, what to do, but we're going to video tutorial this just so that there's no questions or anything like that. Um, you can see at the bottom here that it is an attached file. It's called Kobo Bulk Fixer .zip. If you don't know what a zip file is, we suggest Googling it on your favorite internet browser, such as Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, and others. So if you don't have a, a zip program on your computer, we suggest you download a program called WinZip, W-I-N-Z-I-P. And you can install this, it's a free download. Once you've installed WinZip on your computer, it'll allow you to extract the content with this. So what you wanna do is you wanna click on this to download it, and it will get sent to your desktop. You can see that we've already downloaded it. A little icon appear there is Kobo Bulb Fixer. So what you're simply gonna do is double click that, and it will create a directory here called Kobo Bulk Fixer .zip. All right. Now, before we operate the program that's there, what we want to do is we want to create a directory in our computer called ebooks. So, what you want to do is you want to simply right click, create a new folder. You can see we've already done it, and it's called ebooks. What you want to do is copy, say, a few EPUBs books into there. So, for tutorial's sake, we're going to copy a few books we have on our desktop to this folder. We've clicked paste. So you can see there that we have two ebooks there that are ready to be converted. Now these books on their own, when you would copy them to the Kobo e-reader, would look like how we showed you at the very beginning where the font size is basically so small it is unreadable. Now we're going to fix this so the font size is very readable. So we have a directory that we made again on our desktop called ebooks. We've copied two different EPUB books into this directory. And we're just going to close this for now. And now we're going to, down, we're going to open the directory that says Kobo Bulb Fixer. 
And you can see that there's a bunch of files here, but the only one that you want to worry about is the one labeled Kobo Bulk Fixer. We're going to double click on that. We're going to run it. Now here's the program right here. Load ebook from and browse. So this is basically saying where you're going to get the ebooks from. We're simply going to browse and select the directory that we made called ebooks. And you can see that there's the directory on our desktop called ebooks. We're simply going to click on that directory. And you look at the bottom end here, and it'll say OK. So we're going to click on that. Now you see in the program here that two different books have appeared. Right? Now what we're going to do is an option has appeared here at the bottom called Start. And we're just going to hit this. There is um, an options menu here, but for first time users, you don't really have to worry about that. So we are not worrying about it, so we're not even going to do it. We're just going to press start. And in a matter of seconds, it says, OK, your books are all set to EPUBs fixed. So we're going to click OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy these books to our Kobo e-reader. If you've never done this before, this will serve you well. What we're going to do is we're going to simply plug the Kobo e-reader into our computer via the, serial, the, the USB cable that came with it. We're just going to plug it into our computer. And within a second, it's going to find a new hardware. So we're going to open the folder to view files. And you can see here, this is what our Kobo e-reader looks like. What we're going to simply do is copy the two EPUB files that we downloaded and uh, that exist in the ebooks e directory. So I'm just going to highlight them, right click, select copy, and then go back to my Kobo e-reader. And it simply is just clicking paste. Now I'm going to copy and replace the version that was there before that had the small font just to give you guys a sense of both the before and after. So these two books are now copied to it. Now what I'm going to simply do is just disconnect my Kobo. This is always the best thing to do when you're disconnecting your devices. Just click eject Kobo e-reader, get a pop-up safe to remove hardware so I'm gonna unplug my Kobo e-reader and you can see here it's processing new content so it's processing the two new books that I have uh, added to it so it's just taken a little while Okay, so I'm going to reopen the book that I was reading before. Gives you these little quotes as it's loading up the book. Now you can see here that the text has greatly enhanced in size. Now suddenly when there was so much text on the page before, now it's actually readable, like say a Kindle reader, a Barnes and Noble Nook, and otherwise. So we hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions on this video or any of the facets that are involved in the process of getting this to work, simply register an account on our forum and let us know. We have an extensive Kobo e-reader section with all of discussions our users make as well as guides and tutorials so you can simply contribute your two cents if this works for you great we'd love to hear from you and uh, make sure that you keep on checking back our blog at goodereader.com slash blog for all the latest news on electronic readers tablet and slate pcs for good ereader this is marcus and everybody take care